Okay, here we are. Oh boy, we are looking today at a clam. Okay, clams are amazing. Oh, they're yummy too. Uh, but here we are, we're gonna look at the clam. Let's look at the external anatomy first. So the most easiest thing to see about a clam shell, I think is the umbo. So the umbo, like elbow in my mind, is this bump, okay, that's the umbo. And it's close to this hinge, which is right along here. Okay, so that's dorsal, so that's the dorsal hinge. Umbo and dorsal hinge, and then so this is the ventral side. Not as easy to tell are the anterior and posterior ends. It kind of depends on the species of clam. Sometimes it's easy, sometimes it's harder. It's easier once you get inside. To get inside a preserved clam, well, it's a little tricky in that the clam muscles are tight, okay, so that they, when they've been preserved, the clam is closed, and it's often hard to pry and get between those two shells. There are two muscles, the uh, anterior and posterior abductor muscles, that are located close to the hinge. So you need to take your sharp scalpel, and you need to get between the two sides of the shell, and you need to, without cutting the shell, because you can't cut the shell, you need to get your blade all the way up here. Now, the mistake that gets made by students, this is often our first dissection. And so in your first dissection, you're holding the clam. And then you get your scalpel in there, and you start to cut, and then it gives, and you cut yourself. So you have to be very careful. These gloves are not protective against this mighty blade. So always hold your clam away and get that scalpel in there between the sides. No, see, I'm not letting it get in there very far. First off, I really can't. And I don't want to damage underlying tissues. But I want to get back, and I want to cut the muscle right about here. Now, I've already cut this clam, I have to admit. So let's open her up. Okay, that was me. But you can see how I had to get way over here. And let's just kind of look real quick that as I'm cutting, move it down here, Okay, so how far do I have to get to cut? And you can see, this is where I was slicing, slice, 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 to really get that blade in there. And I need to cut that muscle, and I need to cut the two muscles on this side as well. And it's often easy for that knife to slip and go right through the shells and cut poor little me. So be careful not to cut yourself when opening up a clam, okay? Now, the clam is open. So we can see why it's called bivalvia class bivalvia because there are two sides to the shell. And the shell is secreted by a structure known as the mantle. So this is the mantle. Uh, if your mantle gets ripped, don't worry, it often does when you're first opening it up. It's easy for this to get ripped, but it covers. And I'm just going to kind of peel this back so that I can see the structures underneath. Okay, so let's kind of move that gently aside. Because remember in dissections, it's about being able to see the features of the animal. That's why we're doing this. Uh, we want to be able to learn and understand. So we don't want to wreck anything. Okay? All right. So here I have the gills on this side and then the gills on the other side. So this is the posterior side. Let me get a pointer instead of my scalpel. So I have the incurrent siphon being made right here by the mantle and the excurrent siphon being made right here with the mantle. So let's follow the pathway of water coming in. So the water's gonna come in, it's gonna pass by the incurrent siphon, okay, and it's gonna come into here. Clam are filter feeders, and so food particles can get uh, trapped on the gills, okay, so as well as the gills functioning for respiration, uh, exchange of gases, oxygen, and carbon dioxide, okay. And then the water is going to continue, it's going to flow through, and it's going to eventually flow out the excurrent siphon after all the nutrients have been removed. Okay, uh, let's keep going on here. This whole structure here is the foot. Okay, so this is the muscular foot. Makes cl razor clams can be quite fast and hard to catch, believe it or not. And other clams you can walk over and pick up. Uh, this part here is called the labial palp and that is responsible for getting food into the mouth. The mouth is located up in here, so it's an opening here. Mouth is a structure that's an, an opening. So we got the mouth here, the anus is gonna be on this side, okay? So now let's follow digestion. 
So food's going to be wiped off from the gills. The labial palps are going to bring it into the mouth. And if I've cut into the foot, I don't have to cut a window. I can just cut it. See how I did that? It was just a slice across just to open it up. When I open it up, I see that there's some green up here towards the anterior, towards the mouth. That's the digestive gland. Okay, make sure we're in focus here. You're like, I really can't see that. All right, I'll zoom in for you. Okay, can you see it now? And you're like, well, kinda. All right, so the digestive gland is in here. Now, we can see this kind of tube that's going through it. When I kind of take that tube further down, the contents aren't clear anymore. They're kind of this brown color. Okay, so see this here? I don't want to mess it up too much, but that's the intestine. So the intestine, we're going from the mouth, that's the opening, into, well, is there really a stomach in here? There is, but it's kind of located right about here. And then it goes to the intestine, squiggle, 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 squiggle. The intestine squiggles around and through the digestive gland, which is green, and the gonads, which on this climb is kind of a, that pink color. Okay, so that's gonads. We don't know if it's male or female, uh, it's just gonads, so that's what's releasing eggs or sperm. Okay, the intestine is going to continue and it's going to end up going up here to the top and then up and out. Well, I kind of have to flip everything over. Okay, so the intestine is going to run on the dorsal side of the animal right along here, up and out the anus, which is the opening located on this side of the animal. Get my big fingers out of the way. Okay, oops, that's what happens when you put the probe in the anus, ugh. Well, it's mostly sediment, right? Dirt. All right, what else do we have to look at here? Well, the heart, where's the heart? The heart is located up here, it's dorsal. I'm gonna flip it this way. The heart is right here, okay? That's the heart, is dorsal. The kidney is very tricky. I'm not going to dissect for the kidney. I'm going to let that be from a diagram. The kidney is located up here. It's this brown structure in here, uh, but it's often hard to point to on a dissection. Okay, I believe that has covered everything. Mantle, gills, anus, intestine, gonads, digestive gland, mouth, those muscles. I believe that's everything. So I hope you've enjoyed the clam. When you eat a clam, what are you eating? You're eating everything. Ah, gonads, intestine, you name it. Uh, usually don't eat the shell, right? You shell the clam, boil it, and gobble the whole thing down. So it's good to know what you eat. I will do that, and I'll leave you with that image.